Jordan is an incredible country located in Western Asia. With its stunning natural beauty and amazing history, it is a great place to visit. Today we will be looking at the top 5 places to visit when going there, and what is the best way to explore them. At number 5 we have Aqaba. Aqaba is the only coastal city in Jordan, and the city itself has a population of around 150,000 people and a land area of 375 square kilometers. Jordan has 27 kilometers of coastal line along the Red Sea. And on the coastal line there is located the 7th tallest flagpole in the world. With the Kaaba fortress and other ruins in the area, there is plenty to do in the city. The Kaaba's location near the Dead Sea, Wadiram and Petra is placed in Jordan's golden triangle of tourism. At number 4 we have Karak Castle. It is a well-preserved crusader fortress located in the city of Karak in Jordan. The castle was built by the crusaders in the 12th century and was an important stronghold during the crusader period. The crusaders used rough shaped volcanic stone to build large walls around the perimeter of the castle. The castle has a range of defensive features, including a series of towers, thick walls and a narrow passage that would have made it difficult for attackers to breach. One of the most impressive features of Karak castle are its underground tunnels, which extend for hundreds of meters beneath the castle. During the Ottoman Empire, it played an important role due to its strategic location on the crossroads between the Arabian Peninsula, Egypt and the Greater Syria. The castle is one of the three largest castles in the Middle East, the other two being in Syria. At number 3 we have Wadi Rum. It is a spectacular desert valley located in the southern part of Jordan, and it is known for its breathtaking natural beauty. The place looks like sort of another planet, the red hue of the sand gives it almost Mars-like look which is why it was used as a filming location for some big movies, such as Star Wars, The Martian and many others. You can book a guided tour of the place, which will include visiting some incredibly scenic locations, a pickup truck ride and if you wish, you can pay for lunch and dinner to be included, which we highly recommend as the food was really tasty. While there you can partake in sandboarding. It is like snowboarding, but on sand. There are shacks next to most of the locations from where you can buy souvenirs or sit for a rest in the shades. At number 2 is the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea is one of the world's saltiest bodies of water, and also it is the lowest place on the earth, with an elevation of 428 meters below sea level. Usually most of the beaches there are private and owned by hotels, for which you can pay a visitor's fee to go to, but there are also some free places where you can go. It is amazing how salty the water is, the sensation of just floating and not being able to sink is not one easy to explain, it needs to be experienced. One of the downsides though is that if you have cuts or if you have recently shaved it will stink due to how salty the water is. Sadly the Dead Sea is shrinking due to water diversion and evaporation, which has caused environmental concerns in the region. It has been shrinking at an alarming pace losing more than a meter of water each year. Some honorable mentions for places to visit in Jordan are the lowest place on Earth Museum which is a museum dedicated to the region. The capital itself, Amman, which we were not able to go to as we didn't have enough time, and Wadi Mujib, which is an incredible river canyon that provides some great experiences for the travelers in the country. And finally at number 1 is Petra, one of the 7 new wonders of the world. Petra is an ancient city located in the southern part of Jordan and is a place steeped in history and mystery. It is known for its incredible architecture carved into rock walls and stunning natural beauty. Petra's most famous building is the treasury a stunning temple facade that was carved into the rock in the 1st century. The city of Petra itself will require at least a full day of exploring to see the main locations, and even 2 or 3 days if you want to see everything there. If you are staying for several days, you will also be able to experience Petra by night. It is a light show located at the treasury. The event is available only Monday, Wednesday and Thursday of each week, so keep that in mind. We recommend that you pack a full bag with food and get plenty of water. If you don't want to carry all that with you, there is also plenty of shops where you can buy food and drinks. You also need to stay wary of scammers that will try and offer your services for free and ask for a payment at the end. This concludes our list for the top 5 locations in Jordan. You are able to get a free entry to them with the Jordan Pass which we highly recommend buying if you are visiting the country. It also provides free entry or a discount to many other locations in Jordan. I would also like to mention that we have a dedicated video for each of the locations which you can check from the playlist in the description. Thank you for watching and feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for many other adventures as next we will be going to Southeast Asia.